Hi, my name is Alex Walsh, and this is the Friday Five, uh, where a Georgia Tech MBA alum answers five questions on a Friday, although actually it is Sunday. Presumably this will be posted on a Friday, so there you go. Um, I'm a 2018 graduate of the full-time program at the Scheller College of Business, and I'm currently working as a manager of analytics at the Company Store, which is a bed and bath retailer based in Weehawken, New Jersey. So I'm actually in Randolph, New Jersey right now, which is near uh, Morristown. Um, and starting to answer the first of five questions. So what have I been doing since graduating from Scheller? Well, I work at the Company Store. Uh, before that, I um, took a full-time job with the Home Depot at the SSC in Atlanta, which is the headquarters for the company. Great place to work. Did that for about 18 months before moving up here to New Jersey. Um, and the company store is owned by the Home Depot, so I'm still in the same family, um, but uh, have really enjoyed it. Almost three years now of aggregate time with the company and uh, couldn't be happier. What is the most valuable lesson I learned while working towards my MBA? It depends, um, which is actually the best answer you could provide for any MBA related question. But um, I think what's so great about certainly the Scheller experience is the fact that um, faculty, alumni, staff will over and over provide that answer to you. It depends. It's really the ultimate MBA answer because um, you know, business is fluid, obviously. And, you know, look at the current situation. Things are changing all the time and um, the correct answer for any given situation really depends on what's happening and what you want to do and where you want to go. So um, hopefully I'm one of the first folks to go at this uh, content feature and not everyone steals. It depends, but uh, that's always the best answer for MBA related content. So it depends. How am I using my MBA today? It depends. No, um, pretty, pretty clearly actually. So uh, I work in uh, I, my job title is analytics, I already told you that, but um, really I would say with the marketing focus, um, I have an undergrad degree in economics and really marketing is real world econ, um, understanding you know consumer preferences and prices and all this kind of thing. So that's what I do now. Um, I, I've taken all you know the finance lessons and the accounting and the operations and all that and rolled into one and really focused on kind of the marketing and strategy sides of the company store. So for example, uh, what's someone willing to pay for a really nice comforter? The kind of question I might get posed in a you know, standard day of work. MBA is a great way to think about that, You know, not just what could the price be, what should the price be, but who's asking and all these kinds of things. So um, again, couldn't be more thrilled. What is a challenge I am currently wrestling with at work? Well, um, I said analytics and if you're an analytics professional, um, you will, at some point, deal with both of the things I'm about to tell you. One is messy data. Um, I have some clean data, but I have some pretty messy data too. And I spend a lot of time figuring out how to structure that better, make it more useful to the broader organization so that I'm not the only one looking at these numbers. Um, and that, you know, supposing someone should do my job in the future, they're positioned well to understand the data that we have available. So. If you're an analytics person, you will 100% be cleaning data at some point in your life. Um, accept it now, it'll make it easier when it happens, definitely. And then the other thing analytics people deal with is so many reports. Um, you know, it, when you can build a good report and you can generate insights, which everybody wants, right? The trouble is, um, you could, there's a lot you could know about a business, right? Um, there's a lot of reports you could build, a lot of insights you could generate, and the trick is to figure out which ones really matter um, and which ones can you really do something about? You know, because just to tell you everything in the world about my customer, um, that's all interesting and great, but what are those actual, you know, uh, data points that are gonna motivate action in the business and that can actually help us be more successful? So um, the challenges I'm currently wrestling with are cleaning up my messy data and focusing on the right reports. And if you're an analytics person, you will face those challenges too. So email me, although I won't have figured them out, so we can just maybe commiserate, I guess. And then finally, the most important question, what was my favorite Atlanta spot while I was in school? Um, I took three options here, because um, Cooks and Soldiers is like almost on campus, so it's sort of a cop-out answer, although it's a delicious restaurant and I thoroughly recommend it to everyone, especially at happy hour, you can get tapas for like negative three dollars. Um, as far as a fitness option, because I'm gonna end on a non-fitness option, so let's just sneak in something good here. The Cochrane Shoals Trail on the north side of the city is delightful. It's a three-ish mile loop, I think. Um, you can make it more if you wanna run, but it's just a great running trail. There's parking up front, always a ton of people. And then uh, finally, my actual favorite spot in Atlanta is Southern Custard in Brookhaven. 
It sells uh, frozen custard, which if you haven't had it, stop this video right now and please go try some. It's the best dessert food that ever was. It's a St. Louis original, and for some reason these folks moved from St. Louis to Atlanta and started making custard, and lucky you that you get to have it. So uh, quit listening to me and go get some custard. Otherwise, uh, thanks, and uh, you know, happy Friday or Sunday, whatever day it is.